Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Joseph from ScreenBite, and here with an unboxing for you, I have this sleek black box on my desk. Uh, I actually traded in the Pixel, got myself a new phone for the year 2017, and this time around I chose the LG V30. Uh, and that's right, none of that pre-production model review stuff that's been surfacing all over the internet lately. This is the final retail version. So, um, they did already <laughs> unbox it for me in store. So they, um, they went ahead and um, removed all the plastic and they uh, set some stuff up. So it's not a f real unboxing, but I put everything back in the box the way I, the best I could, the way it came. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway for you guys. So, let's open it up. Alright. So it has one of these, uh, those things. Yeah. There we go. Cool. So, inside the box, of course, you get the phone, the LG V30, but we'll put that right here for right now. You are also going to get a microfiber cloth, which is good because this is both Gorilla Glass on the front as well as on the back, and that is a fingerprint magnet. And you also are going to get some uh, AT&T stuff, Our Promise, whatever that is. Inside here, I'm not going to open it, but I'm sure this is your quick start materials as well as warranty information and yada yada yada. A charging brick. USB-C, USB, C, USB type C, can't talk right now, cable for charging. So it does use a USB C connector, which is excellent. I have tons of those lying around now. And looks like that's it. Cool. Let's get to the phone. So before I turn it on, as you can see, I do have the always on display on, which I honestly I think I might turn on off. I've never been a fan of these always on displays because I, I know they say it wastes almost no battery, but I feel like it still does. Well, time will tell. Um, I got the silver version, so it has the black front with the silver sides, and of course it's going to be silver on the back as well. You can see it has those, uh, those two lenses and the, the home button as well as the fingerprint sensor on the back. Volume rockers on the side and nothing on this side. And, oh, oh my god, do you see that? A headphone jack. Why are people getting rid of the headphone jacks? <laughs> But yeah, so this has a headphone jack, but not just any headphone jack. It also has a quad DAC built in, which should sound really nice with headphones. I cannot wait to test that out. Um, but other than that, um, even though they set it up for me in the store, uh, I really haven't messed around with the phone too much. So this will really be my first time really diving into the software. So fingerprint sensor is super fast, as you can tell. Um, which I also I don't know if I mentioned, but it also doubles as the power button as well, which is kind of LG's thing. Uh, once you get into the phone, um, the camera is not going to do it too much justice here, but I will tell you this is definitely one of the most beautiful screens that I've ever seen on a phone. It is gorgeous. Uh, they finally made the move to uh, POLED, and uh, I'm really glad they did because this is a good screen. They make really good TVs. I have one downstairs. They definitely uh, make good phone screens when they do decide to use a good technology. So awesome. Great LG. Um... Honestly, the last LG phone that I had was the G3, I think. So, honestly, the software's probably gone way crazy since then. Um, when you first fired up, this would be the home screen. I did actually change it to the app screen because I didn't want to have all my apps on the screen because that's just really dumb. So, got to have that. I haven't decided if I'm going to put a custom launcher on it. I think I'm going to hold out just for a few weeks to see how the software really works. But I might throw like Action Launcher or Nova Launcher or something like that on the phone. Um, to the left, you're going to have your Smart Bulletin, which I actually really like because ever since the Google feed became just a glorified news aggregator and not as awesome as it used to be, I honestly, I haven't been using it that often. So this is pretty cool. I mean, it's not, a, it's not the best substitute, but it's pretty cool. You can have your, your calendar, your... Uh, fitness goals and music and whatever else you want to download and add to that. It's pretty cool. Um, other than that, it's uh, definitely an LG skin, so it's not the purest of Android, unfortunately. Um, but it is very, I would say, thin. It's not super ridiculously colorful or anything crazy like that. I remember the G3 had some really ugly skinning going on. Um, 
app drawer, of course. It did come with a lot, a lot of bloatware um, when it came with AT&T. It had like Final Fantasy 15 installed on it and like a bunch of other crap. So uh, luckily, a lot of that stuff can be hidden away with the software as well as you can delete a lot of it off the phone. So that's awesome. Uh, some basics, because I don't want to, I'm not trying to review the phone yet because I haven't really had it, but um, some basic specs. It has a Snapdragon 835. Uh, four gigs of RAM, so it's your definitely your standard run. Uh, I wouldn't say run of the mill, but standard high end flagship of 2017. It has this really really awesome screen to body ratio, uh, which is really striking for me, especially coming from the Pixel because, dang that chin and dang that forehead on that phone. Um, it does have. Uh, LG's implementation of the two lens, uh, where a lot of these two lens makers going out, coming out right now are two lenses on a phone are for portrait mode. LG didn't do that, which I actually kind of prefer this method because it's a wide angle and a standard uh, lens, um, which is really cool. I can't wait to take photos and show those off to you guys. Um, honestly, though, the coolest thing, that, honestly, the thing I'm most excited for this phone, other than, ooh, hello, other than this awesome screen is the video features. Uh, the V and the V series of LG has always stood for video. And uh, this one has some cool stuff. I'm not gonna go into it just yet. I'll do that in the full review. Um, but this has a lot of really awesome stuff for like videographers, like shooting in like S-Log and a lot of really cool stuff that I can't wait to mess around with. But yeah, other than that, um, so far in the like 20 seconds that I've really played with it, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I can't wait to run it through its paces, tell you what the battery life is like, as well as just give my day-to-day -day use. Um, but yeah, I really like it. Uh, and believe it or not, the LG V30 might actually be the first full phone review that I do on this channel. Because I think I am going to go ahead and do that. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you again for uh, checking it out and make sure to stay tuned for that review. Uh, thank you once again for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, make sure to show it by hitting that like button down below. As well as if you have any questions about the phone or if you just want to ask me a question, feel free to ask it down in the comment section down below. As well as you can hit me up on Twitter at ScreenBite, same as the channel name. Um, but yeah, and if you like the content and you're new, feel free to subscribe. But until next time, I'll see you in the next video.